Dines here, coming to you guys with another tutorial. Today was suggested by, you know, this tutorial, shall I say, was suggested by a guy, let me see what his name is. His name was, oh, let me pause the video real quick. Okay. His name was Just Kidding Designs, and he said, you should make a video on the new YouTube layout, maybe get some tips on it, and a template. <laughs> and he says, thanks. Excuse me. Um... Well, that's what I'm going to do. Um, a lot of people don't really have a uh, really big grasp of what um, the new layout really is and what, you know, what to do with it. Now, as you guys see, my layout is very simple. I'm trying to keep it very simple because I don't want to get too involved with it right now. Because it's really, you know, for some people it can be very huge and some people it can be very you know clean and just to the point but I'm gonna guy give you guys a few tips and just kind of show you guys how to you know make a really nice looking background um, or banner shall I say uh, or the one channel whatever they call it um, but anyways let's just get into Photoshop um basically uh, here's my template um, you know, everybody kind of knows what it is. It's just, I guidelined everything out. Uh, it usually comes with this. And these two things, if you guys don't know what they are, uh, this right here is the full dimension. And right here is going to give you, and here I'll give you the label, it's just for the hell of it, is here's our safe area, which all devices are going to be able to catch this little area right here. Uh, iPads, tablets, anything will catch this. And the desktop Max, of course, is going to catch the whole wide banner. Now, this is for TVs and for huge, huge, huge things like that. Um, no need for it, to be honest, because I doubt anybody will be on that for TVs. But, yeah, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to just untick all of those, you know, little layers that I have here. And you're just going to want to focus on right here, the you know, this big box, all right? This big box right here. This It's like a rectangle, but it's the bigger one than the tablet. It's the big one. And uh, that's basically what we're going to start to do. Now, everything, in my opinion, on these backgrounds are going to be more or less. And I'm going to show you guys one that I made. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys, you know, a, a good example. Hold on. Um, here's Chaos Silencer. I just redid his. Um, very simple. Um, you, you know, the links are not a big issue in here. It's going to keep everything you want to keep very small. You want to keep everything very minuscule, and you want to keep everything clean. Uh, you don't. Want, so this obviously gives you more detail. This is going to give you way more detail, and this is also going to give you a lot more creativity. Now. Um, you guys are going to have to make sure that these links are not block, you know, like they're not blocking anything. So make sure you kind of just eye it and this area right here, but try to keep it pretty, pretty good size for whatnot. But that's kind of what I made. So we're going to use a, you know, something. It, we'll do, we'll just do one for, you know, myself. Hold on. And... You know, some people, this is all going to be in Photoshop. Um, I do use Illustrator for, you know, custom stuff and whatnot. But for right now, I think we're going to keep this in Photoshop. Not get everybody, you know, super confused. But oh, I'm sorry. Um, Now, you're just going to want to grab a nice font, and, you know, it's going to, in my opinion, I'd keep a clean font, blocky font, something to that extent. And uh, you're just going to want to center it. Um, I haven't really messed with too much on the left side to see, you know, but uh, usually I like to keep things very centered, so I'm just going to keep this centered. And we're going to, you know, just, we'll do the layer styles later. But then we're going to focus on the background. Now, what I usually do 
and this is just something for me, this is what I've been seeing on the new templates is, you know, what is an easy thing for me to do. I usually grab a soft brush, 7, 750 pixels, go in the center of our whole template, and get this, you know, whatever the background color is, so for in this instance it's blue, we're just going to take a nice blue. We're going to transform, oh, I'm so sorry, make sure you guys, um, Sorry. Make sure you guys create new layers when you're doing stuff like that. I always forget. Sorry. But um, <clears throat> we're going to just, you know, click that. And not shrink it that way. We're going to shrink it a little bit, but we're also going to squish it. And we're going to squish it down to where it's in the region. Of course, the guides will snap onto your scale right here, and we're going to just throw the opacity down to about 35. Now, we're going to merge it to our background layer, and of course, go to Filter, Filter Gallery. Uh, this is how to just get rid of the gradient banding. Move it to about 3, and hit OK. And that's basically what we have so far. Now, after that, what my one of my big things I really like to do is I like to add a very, uh, you know, uh, abstract patterns in the back and you know really weird things to just kind of get your mind thinking and kind of get yourself in an output like whoa that's weird. But so what I'm going to do is I have these brushes and they're just I don't remember what they're called. They just look like this. I'm going to create a new layer. I have a bunch of them. I'm just gonna keep, um, I'm gonna, you know, just do different shades of gray. I'm gonna do that shade of gray, and maybe a darker shade of gray. And you're just gonna keep it, you know, try to mix it up. Uh, abstract brushes, you can look at these at brushking.eu. Uh, really good, you know, site. And we're just gonna keep switching it up. And it really is going to give the features and the, the look of the background a lot. You know, people, it's going to be a little bit more interesting. So let's see what I got here. Okay. So we have something like this, and we're just going to duplicate these guys. And you're just going to want to drag them to the left, merge, and just keep dragging. And what I have, what you're going to end up having here is a really, really nice pattern going on. And we can bring this down and kind of try to connect it in a way like that. And bring it up and connect it in some sort of way. I guess we could do something like that. And actually, yeah, that looks a lot better. And we're just going to merge. So after that, you're going to want to switch it to overlay. And of course, that's going to give this a nice, cool looking feel to it. It's going to, you know, really weird. It's going to make you think. Now, I'm going to duplicate this because I'm going to try a few different things. Um, so, I'm going to do maybe an inner shadow, give it like a 1, a 20 choke, and maybe a 10, and maybe, yeah, screw with it, maybe, maybe like a little bit of like a 5, and move it to about 90, drop shadow, <laughs> 1, 2, 90, and give it a 100% white overlay, and it's just going to kind of give us Kind of a cool looking effect to it. I, like, I kind of like that. That looks cool, yeah. I like that. And that's one thing. You can use that or you can use this. Whatever you like. Um, and we're just going to, I guess, rasterize this. Um, actually, I, I take that back. Yeah, we're just going to keep it the way it is. And you can really just screw with the opacity. And that's usually what I do. Um, 
nothing too intense, shall I say. But uh, let me see what it looks like. Yeah, okay. And, you know, for me, I like to just erase bottom of it, give it, you know, a little bit more of a fading type feel. And that's one of the coolest things we can do with it. Now, after that, let's just click on our text. And we're going to give our text some cool looking, you know, style to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a nice um, orange text. So here's just a nice orange gradient I have. Um, it, we'll make a new one if you want, but uh, I'll just kind of guide you through. You can use really any color you want. I just have a nice orange gradient. Uh, yeah, I, we're not going to go through a new one because you guys know gradients. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go to a bevel and emboss, switch the size down to 1, angle at 119, usually, 0 on the altitude, um, uh, t opacity down to about 25, inner shadow 1, uh, uh, distance choke 0, 1 size, 90 degrees. Uh, switch the black to white, 100% opacity, and switch the blend mode to overlay. After that, we're going to give ourselves, you know, a, a, a pretty good uh, dimensioned uh, drop shadow. Kind of just separates it from the background. Um, I usually keep it around, you know, screw with it, uh, it doesn't really matter whatever you like and then um, behind it what I like to do is I want just to give it that effect that it's you know not on the background and you know kind of like the background is the background and the text is the text we're gonna just take a soft brush try to make it around you know the size of what the text is make black and we're just gonna take black dots and we're gonna push it behind here Make sure you make a new layer for this, and it's going to lower the opacity on to about like 50, and it just kind of separates it a little bit more. And uh, yeah, so that's basically what we have text-wise. Now, <laughs> a lot of people don't realize that this this you, there's a lot more you can do with this than, than you think. Um, one of my favorite things to do with these is to add a, basically I call it a racing stripe, but I... It's a very grungy racing stripe. So what you do is you just take a marquee tool, your rectangular marquee, and you're going to make a rectangle around this uh, banner, the little text. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take our brushes, and we're going to take grunge brushes. Um, this is one of the coolest effects I have ever came across, just because of how you know really nice it looks. And we're just going to basically fill this with brushes, so white. We'll do some cool stuff like this. And right here. And we're going to take black, same layer, and we're just going to do the same same thing. And give it that cool look, you know, kind of, and just deselect. And what it's going to give you is this little bar. I'm going to switch that to overlay, make sure you use the new layer of course, and we're just going to take the eraser and dab in certain areas where, you know, you'd like to erase, so certain areas, and switch the opacity on to about 25, and it just kind of gives it a little bit more of an interesting look to it, um, very simple, very nice, um, and that's really what we're going for here. Um, after that, we are going to add some curves onto this, uh, we're going to add a little curve right here. And that's really it. Uh, color correction on these, honestly, guys, very simple. I don't want you guys putting these extremely crazy grayscale grayscale color corrections all over your backgrounds. Now, this is a completely different ball game. Now, space backgrounds are not something that I want you guys to be making. It's not, but also on top, of that's not about me. You guys can do what you want, but this is the generation and the revolution of what we are going to be doing now. It is something very simple very nice and shall I say playful but after that we're just gonna wanna take some grunge brushes again and really fill in this background area um, 
take some of this and just, you know, give it a nice weird feel to it and, and you know, give it this nice look and like you've, you are spending a lot of time on it, which you are. Now, of course, these patterns, of course, are not going to make your background any better than the next one. You're going to have to really find other things. Um, I really, I, I'll be 100% honest, I haven't really found a, a distinct style other than this 2D grunge that really looks good. Um, honestly, if you want me to be 100% honest, um, and what I'm doing here, guys, is just, you know, grunging this out, giving it a nice effect. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just a regular shape bar. And I'm just going to keep it white. Keep it right here. And switch it to overlay. Now what this does is it just kind of gives it another unique look to it. Lower the opacity. Another one of the coolest things that I have found that works really well is light rays. Light rays on these backgrounds look cool. Um, I'll do one right quick because I think it actually looks pretty cool on this one. So we're just going to take our light ray brush if you have one or you can use the rectangle. And personally I like to start at one side and kind of let it drag the whole light to an area. So like if I want to go behind banner, but actually I take that back. We're going to go behind where the light is. So right in the middle. I'm just going to erase this top area because everything above here you're not going to see unless you're on a TV, which I mean honestly who goes on a TV? Switch this to overlay, about 35, and erase the middle just because if you want it to kind of come from an area. And of course, we're going to add my little trademark, whoops. And we're just going to add this in the little corner, probably right here. Okay, and that's our tutorial, guys. Um, this is just basically what I've found works so far. Um, any, anybody who has, you know, uh, things that you can do, can't do with it, um, anything you guys want out of this, uh, you know, if you guys would like to see more of these types of tutorials of, you know, just kind of thoughts, um, please let me know. And also other tutorials out there. Um, you know, three... I'm going to try to really work with a nice 3D style, see if it'll really, really work on, on this. I'm sure there will be, but um, I don't know. I've, I've found that a lot of this type of stuff is really nice, 2D professional type of stuff. But just let me know what you guys want to see tutorial-wise. Leave comments, uh, questions, um, and also dr like the shit out of this video because I really want to pull this out there and make this a very big viral video to get people that really understand this whole detail of the new one channel background and uh, I, I think I, I personally enjoy it so I'd like to hear your thoughts on it in the uh, description so they're not in the description uh, the link to this actual download will be in the description no you don't need to like you know there's no limit on likes I mean I have to give this away and um, yeah I am going to come out pretty soon with a, a new video it's just gonna be me ranting about something because Something's been on my mind, and I really need to uh, explain it to you guys. And honestly, I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from on this uh, pretty cool situation. So stay tuned for um, next video. And uh, like the shit out of this video. Check out my other ones. Check out Obey. Everything. Um, so uh, also, guys, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'm, uh, I'm ready. Deuces.